everyone, this is you, Sai. Welcome to Let's Talk. Happy Monday, everyone. And this week is such a special week because I was able to get hold of five amazing supermodels, superstars, and doing super amazing work for our community. And we're focusing on giving back all week long. I had opportunity to do some giving back talk last week, and it's so amazingly warm and loving all the DM you guys have been sending me. I thought this week we were dedicated to all these amazing women doing amazing work for our community. And today, my guest is none other than my dear friend, Kate Upton. Hello, Kate. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Well, first of all, where are you right now? I am in Florida right now. We always are in Florida for spring training for my husband. And um, yeah, then we just stayed. Cause you know, pandemic. <laughs> Well, how family, first of all. I, I, I know it was Mother's Day yesterday, so happy Mother's Day. Thank and you. How's Vivi doing? She's doing so good. She just turned 18 months, and it is like a different baby. She just grew up so much. As soon as she hit 18 months, she became like a legit toddler. Well, let's let's be honest. Isn't it a little bit of a, a silver lining that Justin had to stay home with the baby with you <laughs> all the time? Well, anyone who knows me knows that I definitely love when my husband's home. So a little family time is just the best. I think through this new crazy new normal that we're going through, we all try to find some silver lining in all this. Exactly. And, and, and you guys out there, I've been here for eight weeks talking to you guys. And I want to thank you guys again for joining me. Because for every guest that come on the show, as you know, Kate, that we started an initiative that we get 500 masks to your first responders. So just by being here as a guest today, you are furthering donating to the first responders. So thank you for being here. It's just so important. You're doing such amazing work. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it has been incredibly rewarding just the people coming in, the guests helping and also matching the donation as well. It's just people out there DMing and, and, and we, we, we're we reaching our goal of 100,000 masks soon. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With that, I know that you and Justin have been incredibly busy at giving back to our communities as well. Can you share some of that? I know you're doing some work with, with the police, um, uh, in Detroit Police Department, right? Yes, so every week, Justin and I have been donating his MLB check. And it's been, yeah, it's been really, just really rewarding because obviously this pandemic is so scary and intense and watching the news is scary and intense and having every week to be able to do all this research. And we have help from Christy, who is my sister and also runs Justin's Foundation Wins for Warriors. And us three have been in so much time in every week finding out different organizations, learning about them, learning about what they're doing specifically for COVID, and then highlighting it on our Instagram pages and donating the weekly check to them. So we've given back to Houston Food Bank, the Detroit Police Department and First Responders, and we partnered up with Bella Canvas to also donate masks and Ford to donate face shields and uh, the Covenant House New York. And then we had friends of ours, the McNair family in Houston, match our donation and donate to the Covenant House in Houston. Good Plus Foundation, which is such an amazing organization, helps with low income families, get supplies. And then they also started this grant program because you know cash is king and everyone's problems are unique to themselves. So to have cash and them decide where they can use the cash and what would best help them in this you know, horrible situation is just awesome. And then in honor of Mother Day, Mother's Day, we donated to American um, American Gold Star Mothers. I want to make sure I got the name right. You got it. <laughs> um, which is just an awesome organization, which is for family members. Mothers kind of stands for family. Anyone who has lost a child in combat or just who's serving and they've created this community to help each other and continue to serve. And they've also created a grant program through our donation to help these families in their community through it's, this very difficult time. It is so incredible. The, every week I've been watching you guys and just going through the process, being excited to know that which organization will be spotlighted. Because we know, okay, at doing this time in a, this crazy new normal that we're going through that a lot of people want to help. I, yeah. I find that that's what happens. We, we, 
we are in a position of influencers and able to be able to help other influence others and and i had to go through that journey myself the first couple of weeks trying to figure out what my purpose are you know what can i do and i know you and i talked on on, on chat back and forth like what can we do to raise awareness and yeah. i started thinking about this mass thing and with you guys this encouragement i i went for it and i think that's what we all need to do is just continue to to find possibility for other people to help. I think that's, yeah. what, that's what's and most just, important. Yeah, and continuing, you know, I think one thing that I've really learned through these weekly donations is just how everyone is still coming together yes. as a community. And, and a lot of people, like, you know, we talked to somebody who, uh, his name is Chris. Uh, he used to volunteer for the Houston Food Bank. And now after losing his job, him and his family are using the Houston Food Bank and he still had this glow about him that was such an inspiration to both Justin and I. And he, you know, was talking about how at this time, you know, it's just about spending time with his family and loving each other. And he, in a very difficult situation, is still spreading positivity to everyone around him. And having those stories and being able to experience that week by week, you know, really helps us keep the positivity. And so that's why we want to share it with everyone. That's why... We, we share it on our Instagram so that people can, you know, feel this positive spirit and the community growing week by week. And, 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 and absolutely. And I think it's, it's incredible what you and Justin's doing. And together, let's go back a little bit during that time that you had to go through. I'm quarantined by ourselves. We all go through these roller coasters. At what point did this magical spark happen that ignite this amazing, amazing generosity that you guys are part of now? You know, honestly, I can't remember an exact moment. It was kind of just like, duh, this is what we have to do. Like, I, I love you saying that. We have to do. We yeah. have to do. That is that that gives me the chills. It, it, absolutely, the best answer for that. Because you know, it's very interesting that that we we look around and we have. We are so blessed over the years to be able to be in the fashion industry, being built in the industry that celebrate luxury all the time, right? We're, we're gifted with so many gifts year round, and and it almost becomes just the normal for us. Oh, here's a gift, here's a gift, and what an incredible time for us to be able to turn that around and do the same for others. I think that's what I love seeing what you guys are doing is that you are simplifying what other people in position like yours and Justin's should all do and should just give a little and and guys out there we all give in a very different way everybody's yeah. giving in a very different way and yeah whether some, it's in your positive energy yeah. or whether it, it's you know financial it's, or exactly everyone donates somehow but it's about community and yes. i was raised in well, kind of two places michigan and florida but in michigan it was a very small town and people leaned on each other and community was so important and my family really explained how important community is. And so to see community as the entire world right now coming together is the silver lining of the situation. And it's also a break from how scary this pandemic really is and the constant news reminder of how scary it is. And our personal reminders that we're stuck at home. <laughs> Yeah. I turn the TV off now. I, I can't even listen. I, I wish there was a TV channel just only giving positive news. And there's one um, on, on YouTube, John Kukinski, I think how you say last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I love that show. And that show puts me in a best mood because he only talks about the joyful and happy things that are coming out of this situation that we're in. And, and you know, when I first started this talk and, and it was like that. It was just getting on here and celebrating the work we've done over the years. And But this week is so special because it is about how much we have gained over the years and how much we can use it to give it back. And and this following week, Alessandra Ambrosio is going to be with us and she's going to be talking about environmental costs that she loves and, and Tony Garn feeding you know, children, orphans in Ethiopia and her foundations. I think what's missing in our fashion industry is that we don't celebrate this part of the work enough. I know Met Ball raises money for for the Museum of Arts and we got to miss that this year. And I hope we do find a new way to celebrate that because arts is important. But yeah. there's so many other things that you can have humanitarian work. You do on on daily basis and, and everybody do yearly basis you with the foundation that's been adopting um give me the three words adopt 
rescue. Right? Yeah, adopt, okay. rescue, heal, and it's a program. adopt, rescue, and heal. You guys, adopt, rescue, and heal. And this is a this is yeah. a foundation you've been working with for many, many years. It wasn't just because of COVID. It wasn't because of new normal. This is yeah. something you've always been part of. Share that with us. Yes. So you know, um, Justin has a foundation that is in support of veterans. And before we met, I had an adoption um, event every year for dog adoption. And so when we got together, he is such an animal lover and I appreciate every veteran sacrifice so much. So it felt natural for us to combine our two passionate causes. And we created Adopt Rescue Heal, which we adopt dogs from shelters. We partnered with this amazing dog trainer who trains them specifically for the veteran and customizes it for them and um, for whatever need they need, whether it's PTSD or whatever specific need that they need in a support animal or service animal, um, we train it for them. So two people are being healed in this process, the animal and the veteran. And it's because of those everyday things that you have always been part of, the philanthropic blood that's in you, you're always going to be the one that gives. And, and through this time, you continue to do that. So I, the community, thank you. And it, it's true, because I think, especially in our, in, in the time that you don't go on Instagram and posting, buy this, sell this, right? That's what Instagram has become over the years, yeah. that that when we expect a post from influencer, they're selling a makeup, they're selling lipstick, I'm trying to grab, Oh, I have something I can sell. A brush. <laughs> you know, or this like Instagram has got me. What, what else do I have that I can sell? But that's that that's what was happening so much. And I think it's an interesting way that the universe is saying, take a pause, look at what you're liking, look at it and read it before you swipe. I yeah. think that's such a it's such an incredible dynamic that's happening in our digital world. And and I'm seeing more positivities. Um, in the Instagram world right now too, and in Facebook and all these platforms, people who normally don't share are sharing because that's the only way they can find connection with yeah. others. And and that, whether it's cutting your hair, we see a lot of bad haircuts lately though. <laughs> I know, I'm just letting mine go. Let your grow, please. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, just, I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. Nobody give her scissors, nobody give yeah. her scissors. <laughs> You know, and, and, and that is really is the truth that, that we are resetting. You said it just right. This is a time to pause, reset, reevaluate what we have done and how do we move forward. I, I think, what is the big lesson that you learned from all this thus far? Do you know? You know, I, I mean, so many lessons. I think <laughs> I'm like, so many lessons. You're like, the list. I have a list. Where it's do I list. start? It's a list. <laughs> I think, it, you know, how important, like I said earlier, community truly is, how mm -hmm. we really need other people, how we need to share each other's energy and to spread positivity. I think it's also, like you said, how the social media world is and how it's just this constant, you know, Photoshopping and showing this perfect life. And in this situation, none of us have this perfect life or whatever they're trying to push on us and really just sharing honesty and vulnerability and i think that that is really great and then also my favorite covid learning experience has been wine really trying to expand my palate through mm -hmm. drinking it <laughs> <laughs> i'm I like this in bordeaux i'd like to learn more about you <laughs> you know that you've got to find happiness within all this we we do and and, and truly you know Together, we're, we're getting through this, and it's good to have that smile. It's good to find that wine that makes you smile. Exactly. <laughs> to learn that. You know, for me, too, and, 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 you know, you and I, when we have so many deep conversations about our friendship, about our journey together in the industry, and even through this time, and, and your sister, you know, God bless her for championing these causes that she's doing. I mean, your family is incredible, and I, I got to meet them at your wedding, so thank you for that. Yeah for that and they are incredible and 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 truly that what i find now more importantly than ever is that we really do realize who will pick up the phone because no longer a phone calls so are just phones anymore you don't dial anybody more you facetime people or you yeah. and, and and that visual connection i hope it doesn't ever go away and 
Because at this time, I remember in the beginning of this time, only about eight weeks ago, when I call people and they don't pick up, and I get this anxiety. What are they doing? They're not picking up my call. Then I realized over a few days, wait a minute. They're all going through the same thing I'm going through. They're just going through it differently. I may need to talk to them, but they may need the time to kind of be alone and figure it yeah. out. So I learned a lot through this process. And one thing I'm taking away or going to stay with me is two words, and that's be kind. Be kind through all of it. And be kind when somebody don't pick up your phone calls or be kind when you don't book a job. Be kind when you do book a job. I think that is the most biggest realization for me. You know, it's not, oh, who my true friends are, who are not, who support me, who doesn't. It doesn't even matter yeah. as long as we go through this process of be kind. And you know me very well. You know me for over 10 years, 12 years. I know. <laughs> so I you know. don't need to learn that lesson. <laughs> it's a you big one. <laughs> you know, it. Um, some of those people who aren't picking up the phone might just have kids because, yes. whoo, it is tough. Oh, it my is tough. goodness. It is non Stop. It's so funny to like hear the differences between my friends who do not have kids and are like, I'm so bored. I'm so <laughs> bored. What are you doing today? I'm so bored. And I'm like, I'm exhausted. I, when you watch TV, I'm not sure. It must be at nine o'clock at night. It's the only time I do. And then okay. otherwise, it's just like mom guilt taking over. You're like, oh no, I have a Zoom call. Like, I should be spending all this time with her. But you know what's interesting that you talk about community, how amazing to see the moms, the super moms community get together online. You see so many helpful DIYs. You yeah. see, listen, women are the most resilient, resilient people on this earth. Men, we can carry heavy things. Well, not me, but other men can carry heavy things. The women are resilient. They, you true survivor through all this. I see my friends who, Hates teaching become the best teachers to their kids. And we see them who who are not crafty become like the best DIY queen in the bedroom. And that's what is yeah. so well, incredible. Parents, I, I mean, oh. dads too, you know, dads are stepping up as well. Nice. Like it, you have to, you have to, and you have to really come together as a family. And I think a lot for a lot of people, you're really learning what your family is made of. Like, what is your partnership, you know? And through this process, I'm very lucky because I'm like, wow, I really <laughs> did marry a good one. I do feel <laughs> love spending time with him. And he is such an amazing dad. And, um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely families have to come together. But I, I really hope yeah. that these wonderful learnings from everyone, for everyone from anyone that is, a shy to talk and also on Instagram sharing what they love to people who are moms sharing tips how to make a quick meal because <laughs> they have to make meals all day long oh, or, or any little tips on how to keep a garden alive so you don't have to go shopping I hope all these things stay with us when we go back to normality whatever the new normal is and guys out there you and I both know we all know there's never going to be the same normal ever again as no. we evolve now I hope all of us can take what we have learned through this time and, and, and hold on to it. I hope that the giving part of us stays because truly world hunger didn't start because of COVID. The food bank did not open because of COVID. Project Angel Food didn't form overnight. It started with the AIDS yeah. epi epidemic. And that's something I think is so incredible what you guys are doing is that you're putting spotlight on companies and people and organizations who are doing good all year round, but never got recognized. Not only that you're giving them support, you're giving them that recognizability for people like me. I didn't know about the Houston Food Bank, right? I didn't yeah. know that's some place I can go and help in the future or tomorrow. And I think that's the most important thing that you're doing now. It's not even so much about the financial giving, and it's truly about spreading the word and let people know the organization that you can find that you can find the love that you want to give and give your own way. And that's yeah, and they're stepping up and all, and it was so hard, you know, at the beginning we thought like, let's just pick one organization and it, we couldn't because there's so many people who are affected by this pandemic or in, in the world or who are already affected and now COVID on top of it, they, you know, they've been pushed down again. And whether it's people who are homeless, whether it's teens who need a safe haven, but it, whether it's pregnant teens, you know, there's just 
so many people who need help and it's because it's the whole world. It's not just one city. And that was really interesting about giving to Houston Food Bank is they said, you know, after Hurricane Harvey, we had the support of the whole nation. Mm. The whole nation was spreading love and, and donating and, and helping us. But now because everybody else is has effects of, of COVID and the pandemic, they have to help their area. And so they don't have the resources that they had in these extreme situations. So it's really important to learn to, to you know, safe, be safe, but volunteer even, or just spread that positivity and, you know, make a nice message for these people. It's, it's um, important to do. Well, you have always been spreading positivity on the internet, repeating po in, in, in the way that you do it, in the Kate Upton way, body positivity, healthy positivity. And I know you also have a company that really celebrates women's good health. Let's talk about Strong For Me. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, Strong For Me was something I wanted to launch before I became a mother because I was so busy and always traveling and I had these workouts and this access to great nutrition on the road. And I wanted to share it with women because you know my journey to love my body wasn't so clear cut. And like everybody's, you know, you go through ups and downs and then with public criticism, I wanted to regain control and power over my body because it was mine. I love that And everyone so much. else was taking it from me. And I realized that how I could do that was to benefit for my life could benefit from how I was treating my body. I would have more energy. I was able to be my best self. And once I found this workout program and this nutrition plan, I wanted to share it with women everywhere. And now after becoming a mother, it's become even more important because <laughs> all of this pressure we put on each other of the snap back and be the perfect everything the perfect wife the perfect mother and also look incredibly hot while doing it all just not realistic and i wanted to create a realistic program that doesn't make you so crazy sore that you can't pick up your child the next day you know it, it's a realistic 30 minute program that you can do in your house you can get it done in between breastfeeding i mean it, it's, it's literally what i did after giving birth and it's just become so much more important to me after giving birth, sharing this and sharing this access. And I'm, you know, wanting to create a community where mothers aren't shaming each other or because we're already putting enough pressure on ourselves. Like I am always putting pressure on myself that I need the mom guilt is for everybody. Anyone who's a parent knows that guilt that you feel and we don't need more of it. We need to come together. We need to, Everyone knows we're just all trying to be our best moms and our best selves. And here, I'm just trying to help you have access to something easy and affordable that you can do in your house. It was incredible to hear this because I've seen your journey. I've been side by side yes. on many of those journeys. The, the criticism, the, the, the internet, the early internet of the trolls. And, and, and there's a reason yeah. why I turn off the comments now because there were always somebody giving negativity. And in this time, at this time, different than five, six years ago, I simply just tuned them out. I okay. used to, yeah. you know me, I used to go for it. I'm like, come for me and I'll go for you. Now I pick my battles and I just go, you know what? This is my power, turn off comments, bye. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, when you, yeah, I think when you have power you on yourself mm. and you take back the control over your your mind and your yes. body and you love yourself for what you're able to do and how what? amazing you have become i am so proud of you as a friend because guys out there know that you and i have a special relationship and that is that these are the first time you said these words to me because we don't do this kind of talk we don't interview <laughs> each other but we just talk and but yeah. the fact is that you know, I have to pay thank you to you because I watch you grow and I watch how strong you've gotten every day, every page you grace on the cover magazine. When I thought those magazine covers meant so important to you and when I talked to you, when I realized how much hurt it comes with it at the same time yes. that people don't realize. Grace the cover with Sports Illustrated for the first time. I remember calling you and you're like, you see here and see what people are texting me. And yeah. we don't know that on the outside. So, so ever important, women need to support each other. I know it's, it's so weird for me to say that, but I see it because I work with women. 
all the time. You know, I'm champion for body positivity. Yeah. Well, we, we're getting it from all sides now. Yes. Even when I started, it was just magazines, and now it's everywhere. Everywhere. Course photoshopping normal photos like going to the grocery store with your child and it's just not realistic and it's coming at us and even though we're, most of us are smart enough to know that's photoshop it's become our new norm it like, is it is and like you can't get away from it which is why i wanted to do the health cover and i wanted to do it with you because you uh, well one have been on the whole journey with me from start to finish and also, and we're not done yet no we're not done. Start to middle. Right, right. Start to middle. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how you love women in in every form. And you love women for their you love people for their soul. You have Thank such you. you're so intuitive and you see people's real selves. And I wanted that's why I wanted you to shoot this health cover, which was no Photoshop and it was you know, what a special moment. Six months after I gave birth. And you just gave birth about what, three months prior? Was it three? Six months. Six, six months. months. But I was breastfeeding, and I'm going to tell everybody out there no one's going to lie, but you lose weight while breastfeeding because it was not that real for me. And every woman's journey is the same, and I held on to weight. I could not lose any weight until I stopped breastfeeding. So we got to go everybody a break but doing that was such a special shoe because that was a shoe of a cover shoe and when health magazine called me and said do you think kate would do this i go i think kate would champion this and of course you're like oh my god we're doing no retouching no so time out for a second guys and that is that uh, we do a lot of photo shoots there are magazines that over retouches and there are magazines don't sports illustrated we celebrate body as we've done and we've done cover together in fiji what a special trip that was triple cover and those are very very organically natural because you can see from behind the scenes and when you well, do high fashion uh, we do yeah. like you know we do retouching to this, to this but to this. you know i have to say like MJ is really who changed things around me. When oh. I first started at Sports Illustrated, they photoshopped me an inch of my life. They were like taking my head off of a body and putting it on another body and drawing me a new chin. How come they never put my head on your body? I would have loved that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but then MJ really turned around. She wanted to celebrate women and bodies and celebrate how hard these women and these yes. girls really work before showing up on set. I mean, it is a boot camp. They are really putting themselves through it, and it needs to be appreciated. And um, I mean, I know my favorite Fiji story. You know what I'm going to tell? <laughs> when we show up in Fiji, and they're like, "We just landed." They're like, "You have two hours in your shoe." And I, from traveling, was so constipated, so constipated, and so I took, I ate some prunes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I learned I really love dried prunes. And so I ate a lot of prunes. <laughs> and, and I so was very concentrated. And then we took a boat to Castaway Island, which is just how everyone would imagine. There's no bathrooms or access to any bathrooms. There's beautiful, gorgeous blue water and gorgeous rocks and waves crashing and seagulls <laughs> flying. And here's Kate. <laughs> and I am like, I am going to poo my pants, but also it's just a, a white bikini bottom. So I ran up right where, right where it was, it said, what did it say? It didn't say SOS, it said like help or something. <laughs> and dug a hole and luckily relieved myself. I feel like that was a very appropriate way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite part of the whole shoot is then after, the photo after, I was like, <sighs> just so free. You know what? A good poop can really make you feel uh, good. <laughs> uh, digestion is so important. <laughs> <laughs> those, 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 those memories are absolutely incredible. And yes, the, 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 it was, it, you know what, those trips and what MJ has done, so important because not only has she reshaped it, the understanding of what women's respect should be in this world, she also taught us photographers who shoot for the magazine a lot. I know when I started shooting for SI, it was 12 years ago, 12 years ago, guys. And it would be, let me have all the T and the A's. Give me the T and the A's. And if I can have your mouth, your, your chest, and your butt all in one shot, do the twist. You know the twist pose. 
Yeah. And then that's what we're going to sell. And it truly was. There were pictures of, you know, Marissa Miller back in the day with the iPod wearing nothing, with the headphone covering the nipples and the phone covering the, the private area. But it's no longer. But because we evolve, I think do different Yeah, time, like, you know what? You can movement. show your body, but women's bodies should be celebrated. I mean, I, like, being naked for a photo, like, for you is art. It's true art. Because we have beautiful bodies. And, and it is art. And it is a gift. And, after and you know that. I, I get it. so excited when you get naked for all the right reason, not the reason you guys did. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm but, <laughs> but I mean, because our journey together, because the trust that we have with each other, and yes, we celebrate nudity in the, in the most respectful and beautiful way, and we photograph. As photographers, we love capturing beauty. And for me, I, I yes, I will shoot men, but there's nothing like shooting beautiful, gorgeous women. And But with the most important thing in mind, that's you celebrate that shoot with empowerment. And that's something that you and I have always made sure of. Whatever picture we, sh we worked on together, whether it's new, not new, with clothes on, transforming you into Marilyn Monroe, transforming you into no eyebrows, <laughs> whatever that may be, those decisions, <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. Um, no, those, <laughs> those, things, those pictures are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> those, day, those things, back in the days in the fashion world, as you know, you don't get to decide. People were bleaching your eyebrows. They would, they would tell you, they tell you what you need to do. But it was through the time with your name becoming a super name, a superstar, your voice and just being you were able to change the industry. And I don't know, you know, but so much so of what you have done from Sports Illustrated to then landing on a cover of American Vogue and then Italian Vogue work with Stephen Mazel, you proved so many people wrong, but not for your own benefit, for the benefit of people around you like me who believed in it from the start. And we know we heard a lot of no's and we're gonna hear a lot of no's for the rest of our life. But you have now grown into amazing young women with a beautiful family, have the power to use your voice and use your journey to say, listen, those no's are just those no's. And this is the yes now. And this is what I can do to empower people. That's a platform we're all supposed to have from the very start. And I think that's changing our landscape of modeling. Yeah. I mean, I think, like, when I first started modeling, I didn't have that goal. I didn't know that that was my journey. Oh, I, I did. Started, I, did. I, <laughs> I told you the first day. <laughs> true. I, but I started modeling, and I wanted to travel. Like, I wanted to travel, and I wanted to, uh, you know, just, like, meet new people and, and accept these opportunities. And after receiving the criticism that I did from being in my first Sports Illustrated cover, this, this journey – turned into something else and I knew what my path really was for and it was for bringing women together and I came from very woman dominant family with my sisters who meet the world to me and my very strong amazing mother and my father and brother who supported us and your sister's so husband is pretty damn cool because we saw him on, H uh, on the uh, hammering away in the bathroom <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, he is. And, you know, I think being raised in that very woman strong family, like, you know, I see my sisters and myself marrying real partners, mm. real partners who are in it with you. And um, that became, you know, what I love. I love being able to speak my truth and bring women together and help women appreciate their flaws and also and help them realize that their flaws is what makes you different. It makes you you and we don't have to do the whole kardashian thing where we buy new faces and photoshop ourselves and ensure our life because when i see that i feel sad for them and yes they have tons of money and in certain circles that's that means everything but in my world that's just one thing and but that's okay because diversity yeah. it's okay because back then People didn't accept you as a real you. They accepted the, the Kardashians and their clients. So I know, isn't that interesting? How we were first to embrace non-authenticity, we embraced the artificials, and then now the world has changed and said, show us the real you, show us who you are, and that's what we're going to embrace, and that's what we want. Yeah. And well, we still have to be brave enough to show people that. Yes. Ourselves. It's incredible, and what I love is that you, Kate Upton's name, has always been synonymous to men's audience. 
and you taken that and flipped it upside down and 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 you basically told to all those men that's following you millions and millions of men look for k after we know they love you you're sexy you're gorgeous but you get to say to them now now you watch me for the last 10 years now i'm going to tell you how to think about women that's the power you have that's what i absolutely champion and love yeah but it wasn't on purpose it's you know, <laughs> I, did, i did these shoots because i wanted to work with these amazing people like yourself and that's why i did these shoots and a lot of them were focused on men but i it created a journey for myself oh. where i realized i you know I am a woman. I can speak to women more honestly and I want to be authentic to myself and I want to share my journey to inspire other women. Well, with that, you have done very well all of it. All of it. The fact that I I know you from such a little young young girl to this beautiful mindful spirit of a woman and 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 empower that you always have from first day I met you and I told you from the first day I met you you're going to be so powerful and people are going to watch you you're going to be a star and I like to always tell that story because I remember the day I said it at the <laughs> studio and you look at me like when we're going to start shooting stop lecturing me <laughs> where's lunch where's lunch <laughs> but we did a lot of amazing shoot we shot with little baby cheetahs we, we did a, we a lot of amazing memories but along the way truly the most important picture is what's in front of me now what i see today is knowing that i got to share this journey with you and see you develop in this incredible human being and being not just super monogamous but super human and inspire others that's all we can't ask for and that i have done my job as a photographer who came into your life in the very beginning and i'm proud to say you're my dear friend and i'm going to cry almost <laughs> yeah, I'll I there. i'm so sorry I mean, well i've also watched your journey and you are so much more than just a photographer you are someone who empowers everyone around you you have this platform that you continue to help and empower everyone and showcase what everyone's doing you always lift everyone up around you and you are truly an amazing person so Thank you so much. Thank you, you so much. so much. I love you so much. And thank you for continue giving. And guys, one of the thing that we need to learn from this new normal is that the giving doesn't stop when the pandemic calls quit because all the needs that we need to have for the veterans it happens every day. The people who need food at the food bank it happens every day. Yeah. Kids going to school have to have a lot of kids. We have a lot of huge percentage of kids going to school. That's the only way they can get food because they don't have enough. at home now is the time to support them and give them please go to Kate's Instagram if you're not already look at the organization yeah. she supports and she highlights them so that we can be better educated and know which organization that we can also be part of the solution and thank you for being part of the solution during this time and thank you so much for being with me today thank you so much and i love you so much and everybody oh and make sure the harley now somebody says hi hold on Oh, Harley was just in here. I think he Oh, sorry. My little baby. She is 12 years baby. old and she only plays with Harley but no one else. She doesn't like any other dog but Harley. I she know. Says Harley. <laughs> Look oh. at her. Oh, well, give Harley a big hug and kisses from us. We miss you guys and we can't wait for you guys to come back to LA and I can't wait to I get to cook for you guys soon. I know. I can't wait for you to cook for us. I love you so much. Everybody love stay you. strong and stay healthy out there until we meet again tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.